let's not waste any time and just get right into this back and bicep workout. So as always, all the exercises and the reps and sets will be in the description. So make sure to check that out. But I started off with some underhand grip cable rows, four sets for seven to 10 reps. And then I went on to these alternating dumbbell curls, four sets for seven to 10 reps. And this was a super set. And then I moved on to some standing lat push downs, four sets of 10 to 12 reps with a drop set. So I lowered the weight about 40 to 50%. And then I proceeded to do an additional 10 to 12 reps. I think my lats are still sore from these exercises. So I recommend them. Then I moved on to some lat pull downs, four sets, seven to 10 reps. And then I hit a drop set, but I reversed my body and I'm pulling it behind my head and controlling it. It's, it's much lighter weight. And I did an additional 10 to 12 reps. That one really hurts as well give it a try then I moved on to some cable curls you know the basics four sets of 10 to 12 reps holding it at the top and then letting it down slowly trying to fight the weight and it was a pretty quick workout I ended with these single arm high cable curls or I ended biceps with these four sets of 7 to 10 reps and the key here is to try to turn your palm inwards while you're flexing to really build that peak and then I ended with these hanging leg or knee raises Four sets of 15 to 20 reps. And now I'll let you get back to the video. It's lunchtime. The workout you saw was actually from yesterday. I recorded yesterday's workout, but didn't record anything after that because I worked on editing the other video. But that's not really the reason why I stopped recording. I don't know. I don't really know why I stopped recording yesterday after the workout, but I must have got scatterbrained or lost. But again, that workout was from yesterday. And then I'm gonna get some lunch, and then I'll have another workout in this video today. I'm also gonna talk about, again, more logo updates, more logo talk, and then just a couple other things. But I already had the meatloaf a few hours ago, but now I'm hungry for another meal, and I don't really want a peanut butter jelly sandwich, I don't want a tuna sandwich, I don't want a smoothie. So I'm gonna eat my last prep meal, which is the flank steak, the potatoes, and the asparagus. Just gonna heat it up for three minutes. And that's it. A little more talk about the new Water Jug Fitness logo. So I've got 160 some designs, it looks like. About 160 some designs that I gotta look through, sift through, see which ones I like, see which ones I don't like. And then, you know, get the ones out, obviously, that I really don't like. Then I move on to another round where I take the ones I do like and kind of explain what I like about certain ones, what I don't like about others, what I wanna see, what I don't wanna see, to get it down even more. And then I can send out a poll, which I'll send out a poll here real soon, that's gonna allow you guys to provide a little bit more feedback about which ones you like in particular. Now keep in mind, this is where it gets difficult for me because I am the type of person who likes to try to please everybody and I have to take a step back sometimes and realize that it's just not possible. If you're the same way as me and you try to always please everybody, you know that it's just like a, it's almost like a stressor or an extra weight on your shoulders because you think that you have to try to work to please everybody. Even in reality, most of the time, you'll come to realize later that it wasn't even possible in the first place, but you still tried and you still thought about it and you still let it like weigh you down because it does to me too. Cause like when I get your guys' feedback and I've already gotten a little bit of feedback, you know, some of it's positive, some of it's constructive, which is still positive. Some of it's, you know, I don't like any of them and I like your current one, which again, it's your opinion, which is perfectly fine. But that logo is going away 100%. It's just not as professional as I would like it to be going forward. So that's all. But again, with you know this new design, everyone might not love it. I have to understand that. But what I have to take into account is, do I love it? Like, do I really like it? Because at the end of the day, if I'm not happy with the logo that I pick, if I look at it and I'm looking at it every day and I'm not happy with it, then I'm not gonna be happy with what, you know, to put it on clothing and to, to do other things. So that's what I've started to realize when I sat back is like, I love all the feedback, I take all the feedback, but at the end of the day, I need to be in love with the logo that I pick because if I'm not, then I'm not gonna be as happy 
to share it with you guys either. So I will still be looking for more feedback and I'll be putting out polls on Snapchat and Instagram. So I'll put them on both because I know some people don't have Snapchat, they don't have Instagram. So I'll probably put it on Twitter as well. So keep an eye out for that. But that's it for this talk. Now I gotta sift through these. So very last thing, if you are a people pleaser like me and you try to satisfy everybody with their their wants and their requirements and their you know their feedback, just stop. You're, you're not going to be able to fulfill everybody's wishes. You're never gonna be able to do exactly what everybody likes. I listen to all the feedback. I try to help the most people, but I don't stress over it. I need to stop stressing over it. You need to stop stressing over it if you do, because it's not gonna do it any good at the end of the day. You still won't be able to make everyone happy. And you need to be the one that's satisfied with the work that you're putting out and or you know whatever you're doing you are the one that needs to be the most happy with it. So that's what matters the most. I'm gonna hit another workout in this video. I had some legs, and I'm probably gonna use those in Keo bands, or not bands, but the, the ropes, the TRX suspension trainers, those things. I'm gonna use those as well with my workout. So I'm gonna start this leg workout off with some stretching and foam rolling. Not something that I like to do, but it's necessary. I'll do like 15 to 20 minutes of it and that will make my leg day much better. Spend the time, do your stretches and your foam rolling. I've never foam rolled before. I'll show some of what I'm gonna do, but it's gonna hurt if you've never done it before. So just be ready. So now I'm moving on to squats, back squats. I did the bar, 135, 185, 205, 215, 225, and then we're gonna get up to the working weights. I had to take my shoes off. I don't know what it was in my left shoe. Something is bothering like my heel. It hurts really bad when I squat in those shoes now. I'll probably like wearing out the back of it or something like that. Yeah, I mean, I can feel something hard back there. That's probably what it is. So, either time for a new pair of Converse or I'll start wearing the squat shoes again. But today, I'll be hitting five sets of five, seven to eight reps. So I'm gonna hit four sets of about seven to eight reps ish. So there are the Inkeo wraps or uh, suspension trainers. Right there. 
it literally took them, like there was two pieces I had to go up this piece and then that clip. Other than, like, other than that, it was already done. So pretty simple setup. And now I'm gonna do front squats lighter. I'm gonna do 10 to 12 reps. And then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the Inkeo uh, suspension trainers and do air squats with them. with these again we're just gonna go wider and then I'm gonna do planks as well Thirty-four degrees out, but I'm not putting pants on. It was leg day, so I'm rocking the short short still. It's fine. I'm just gonna run in and grab some food and get out. I have to get a cheat meal because I have no other meals. Well, I guess I don't have to get a cheat meal. I could go to the store and like buy chicken and make it. But since I'm bulking and I'm not gonna be bulking for that much longer, only until, like I said, like the first week of April. The cheat meals will be cut way back once I start to cut. So it's gonna be strict on the diet. So I need to live it up while I can. And I'm not cutting for any real purpose. Like I'm not, I don't plan on competing, anything like that. But you know, you cut because of summer. When you take your shirt off, you need to have the abs back. God, that sounds, that sounds vain. Sounds terrible. Don't scratch that. You get cut, redo, retake. I'm gonna cut that out maybe you get cut in the summer to show off your gains how about that i mean it doesn't sound a whole lot better but it sounds better than the other i think i don't know i'm gonna stop trying to analyze it and i'm gonna go get some food So, from Panda Express. I think a little bit is leaking though. <sighs> Harmony. It is leaking a little. Oh gosh. Dang it. All right, so I have some grilled teriyaki chicken in here. I have an egg roll, and I got the bigger plate. So the grilled teriyaki chicken's on the side. And then I got two servings of the orange chicken. And 
All right, once I get this cleaned up, I'll show it to you like that. But, and I got two servings of orange chicken, a serving of vegetables, and a serving of rice. Let me clean this up, and I'll show it to you. Come on, Panda Express, look at that. I ought to set that on my desk. It's been a mess. Off the bottom of it, and then I'll set it on these two paper towels, like so. This way, it's too far away. And then I'm gonna use the other side compartment as like another plate. I know it's crazy. Thinking outside the box, the the styrofoam box. All right, egg roll. You would think it was this sauce that spilled, but it's not. And I have a portion cooking. This bag. Anyways, there it is. That's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna put a link to where you can get those in Keo suspension trainers in the description, so check them out. And I know I honestly didn't even really use them to the degree that I could have. Like that little booklet had a lot more stuff in it and there's a lot more that you can do with those things. I was just honestly a little bit unprepared to use them. I know I wanted to use them, but I didn't have like an actual set of exercises I wanted to use them for. So I will again do a home workout completely dedicated to just being at home and, and using probably those, my dumbbells, and then I have like the actual resistance type band. So I'll do another home workout like that because then I can use those more and I would use those more. But since I was at the gym, like they're there for people to use. They probably thought like I was stealing them because I was putting them in my bag, but they're mine. They're mine. Anyways, yeah, I'll do something completely dedicated to them. Like they are very sturdy there. I mean, I really did like them and I'm not just telling you that because they sent them to me for free. That's why I'm telling you they sent them to me for free to try. But I really like them and I wouldn't say it if I didn't really like them. Anyways, now that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave feedback about what you thought, and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And now it's time to eat.